One of the questions we get from time to time is along the lines of this, what assets don't go through the probate process in Georgia? Hi, I'm Joel Beck, an estate planning and probate lawyer with Peach State Wills and Trust in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And I'll answer that question in today's short video. So the question is, what assets don't go through probate in Georgia? Here's what you need to know. Some assets, we call probate assets, are going to pass through the probate process whether the decedent had a will or died without a will. Some other assets are what we call non-probate assets, and they're transferred or passed, distributed to the, to the decedent's beneficiaries or loved ones by means other than the probate process, regardless of whether the decedent had a will or not. Here's some examples of non-probate assets. The first example is um, property or financial accounts owned with another person as joint tenants with right of survivorship, what we call JTWROS. When you see that abbreviation, you know that it means it's joint tenants with right of survivorship. The moment one joint owner dies, the surviving joint owner owns it all automatically. That asset does not go through probate. Other assets that don't go through probate include assets that have a beneficiary designation. Think of life insurance policies as well as IRAs, individual retirement accounts, or 401ks or 403bs or other types of retirement accounts, and including maybe pensions that have a death benefit. When you set up your account or from time to time thereafter, you list a beneficiary on a beneficiary designation form. And what that means is it says, when I die, pay this benefit or pay this asset to my beneficiary or beneficiaries. So those assets that have a beneficiary designation are not going to pass through the probate process. They pass outside of probate. Also, we can have beneficiary designations set up on bank accounts and regular investment accounts that are called POD or TOD, pay on death or transfer on death. That's typically just a designation form uh, for a beneficiary for accounts that aren't life insurance or retirement accounts. Nonetheless, it's a beneficiary designation and that is going to control where that asset goes and it will pass to the decedent's beneficiary outside of probate. Once you die, these non-probate assets transfer automatically outside of the probate process. Typically, the beneficiary may simply just have to provide the custodian of the asset a death certificate and maybe fill out a claim form and then the asset or the funds will be transferred. That process is much easier and much faster than going through probate. When we work with our estate planning clients, we're sure to encourage the smart use of beneficiary designations so that we can allow assets to get into the hands of loved ones faster. It's going to be easier and it will streamline and make the probate case if one needs to happen much more efficient and easier. Now, if you need more information on probate or estate planning in Georgia, visit us at peachstatewills.com. Check out our articles there and our blog there. Check out our other videos on YouTube or simply feel free to give us a call at 678-344-5342. Thanks.